everybody, it is I, Mr. Skids, and welcome to Moria. I think that's how you pronounce this game. Moria. Oh, to Moria. I know a few people have been playing this game. Hold on, is there, there is no mouse movement, so it's all ASFW and uh, arrow keys, so. Okay, oh, oh, so that's how I, um, okay. The, the oh, that is weird. I gotta press E and Q to do side swiping action. That's like, um, oh god, that's like really old style uh, <laughs> controls. So let's uh, talk to the priest. My prayers go out to poor Julia. It's been a year since her husband has passed. She hasn't been seen all day. I imagine she is grieving. Do you mind visiting her at her home? It is house to the right as you leave town. Oh, I guess so, but, uh, this is a free game I found on Itch.io, or, uh, yeah, I believe so. And, uh, you guys can download it in the description down below if you want to play it. Need to stay close to Mama, otherwise she'll worry that we, we've run off. Need to stay close to Mama. Mama. Hey, Mama. Did you hear about the boy? Julia lost her son in the cave shortly after her husband died. Poor Julia. I would never let my boys out of my sight. Don't be too protective, otherwise, yeah, it becomes really bad. Sometimes Daddy lets us pat the sheep on the head. They're so soft and cute and adorable. Enter cabin. So I- Oh, hello, chef. It looks like a lovely day outside. You should head out to the farm as if it gets the ch if you get the chance. Spend some time with the animals. Is there anything else other than that? Okay, I guess not. D uh, go to the next cabin. What is in the next cabin? Boy. Hey, boy, I heard there is gold in the cave, but I'm too scared to enter. They say there's a little boy that taunts over your shoulder. And apparently I turned Irish. Uh, boy, boy, you need to shut the hell up so I can get out of the cabin. I would like to get out. So, things not so good for this Julia fellow. Also, I love the textures. <laughs> I love the furniture you put in this house. My uncle and dad are out chopping wood to keep us warm in the winter. They should be home soon. I love your furniture. Is that a sticker on the wall? I th I'm pretty sure these people are so poor they can only afford fake furniture. Put a little, uh, look at the bookshelf, huh? There is a picture on the shelf of a wife, husband, and a young boy. I wonder where they are. Uh, okay. There was no nothing else like that in the other one, so I'm guess I'm hoping there's nothing else. Okay. Signpost. To the farm. Let's go to the farm with this amazing quality skybox. Haha. <laughs> it's like I could reach out and touch those trees. Okay. Enough of that. I, I don't judge a game by its quality, I judge it, or it's the, uh, you know, the quality video-wise of a game, because that's stupid if you do. Poke sheep. Ba 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 Okay, that's enough poking the, poke the sheeps. I wonder if any of these sheeps have anything specific to them, like... Certain a certain sheep here. Um, any of these sheep's at all have something different? Like, is there a wolf amongst you, sheep, or something? Maybe it would be. I would do it. I'd put a little like one of these sheep's as a uh, as like an Easter egg. But apparently, none of these sheep. None of them. Nope. Nope. The door is locked. Okay, I can't get into the fucking JPEG farm, so... Uh, JPEG's farm. <laughs> old Mc... Uh, old McJPEG's farm. Yeah, yeah, yo. Hey, there's the guy that's chopping the wood. To the cave. Okay. What do we got? Pick up lantern. You pick up the lantern on the stump. Talk to Lumberjack. My brother and I were chopping wood when we heard moans coming from the cave. My brother went in to investig investigate. He should have been back by now. I'm worried. Can you check on him? Here's a lantern behind you on that stump. So, okay. I have this tiny little baby hand, and I will go into the, uh, into the darkness of the cave. Hello. Hey, you. Come over here. Come over here. Nice. Did my brother send you? Bless him. The moans are coming from further down. I'd go in, but my sight's no good. You should take this knife. Who knows? You may need it. 
Um, okay, so we're- there's a lost girl, okay, yeah. Um, there's a lost woman here. There's a rat. Oh shit, I've done goofed! I've done goofed! There we go, we got- we're good. We got it, we got it, we're good. We're okay. Um... Oh, this got real dark real quick. I thought maybe F- I forgot F was full screen. I don't know how to use a knife. And I'm very scared of pressing the F key a bit again, but I can't use the actual knife, so... Talk to brother. If you had poor eyesight, why did you come in here fucking looking for whatever it was that was, you know, moaning? Why? Ooh. 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 Ooh, fuck, no! Don't, 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 don't. I don't know how to defend myself. I don't know how to defend myself if I do have to run. Oh god, I don't like where this went. I feel very alone in a very dark cave. This is a very long hallway and I don't know where I'm going. There's bones here. Um. Hey, I look into hole. You can see something shiny. It's just out of my reach. Okay. Don't let there be anything down these paths, because I will be... I'll probably jump out of my skin. I'm very bad with horror games. I get very nervous, because my wild imagination do like to get away from me. So this is the way I came. Hello, brother. Hello, Mr. Brother. So, oh, what's down this way instead? A very large room, cavern-like room. Please don't kill me, whatever is in here. I'll probably fucking shit a brick. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like the unknown. I don't think anybody really likes the unknown, but... Me? I... Extra don't like the unknown. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Mr. Skids doesn't like the unknown. Look at tools. There are some tools leaning against the wall. It looks as though they've been used to mark carvings on the wall. It looks to me like somebody was here for a very long time. There is a book on top of this pedestal. It's labeled Farmers. There is a, is a list of names inside. Domerus Hitler do not do nothing wrong. Blood man. How eerie. Domarius, Hitler did nothing wrong. JJJ, Bloodman, how eerie. I'm guessing these are either people that helped with the game, the making of this game or something. I don't know what the hell was, you know, with that shit. Also, I'm sorry if if I'm not going that fast. I, again, I'm scared a little bit. And I'm not very good with these controls. I'm really, really bad with these controls. So, apparently... There is got to be something ahead. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. I uh, I messed up a little bit there. So um, yeah, we're back in the game. Sorry about that. Had to do some <laughs> had to do some editing. I hear crying now. That is good news. Yes, that's what I want to hear. It is crying of a forlorn soul. Oh, hello! You are covered in blood! What are you doing here, sir? The farmer approaches. Fuck! Oh my god! Sorry about that again! I fucked up again! Oh my god! I can't do anything right, apparently. The farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Why do you have a knife? I heard moans. Have you- what have you done? Uh, attack. Let him pass. Uh, why do you have a knife? I was given it- given it by the lumberjack. Why do you have blood on your overalls? There's a woman who tried to kill herself. I'm leaving this damned cave to get help. I heard moans. What have you done? Nothing. Let them pass. Alright, I will let you go. I guess. But, it, it, Julia, you know, is- you know, not- it, he could be lying. He could be lying. I- I probably let a murderer go. There is a- still something here. Uh, okay, that was pointless. Okay, that's just a pillar, I guess. 
Okay, there's still something crying in this. Nope, oh, yep. There's a dead woman here. Okay, I'm a little bit paranoid. Erg, please help me. I'm in a lot of pain. I came here to end my life. My name is Julia, and I want to see my child and husband in heaven. My husband was a miner in these caves. He spent days mining for gold, and then one day he found something. He found a golden nugget. I thought we could retire and be comfortable for the rest of our lives, but he could, didn't trust me. He buried the golden nugget and, to spite me. Then he disappeared. Everyone in the town heard about our good fortune. They thought I was rich. I was so ashamed that I couldn't tell them the truth. One day my son wandered into the cave and he wanted to find his daddy. He wanted to make everything better. But he never came out of the cave. I went to look for him, but I couldn't find him. Now it's too late. Now I have nobody. Will you help me? Will you help me end my life? Oh, no. I can't do this. Oh, I can't kill her. You can't die. It's not... This guy's an asshole. He's not worth living over. I know you had a horrible time with your son, but... Then leave me, you coward. Woman spurts blood at you. Thanks for spurting blood at me. Thank you. Um. Uh, apparently, I'm sorry. I can't kill you. You deserve to live, I guess. But I, I just. Oh God. I heard noises. I better get help, I guess. Please get help. Don't let me die. No, nah, farmer. What are you doing here? Hello. Farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Um. Uh, um, woman, uh, well, I'm a got caps locks on. A, a woman tried killing herself. Why do you have a knife? The lumberjack's brother gave it to me. I heard moans. What have you done? Nothing. Whoop, nothing. Let me see what will happen to you. And that is where the story shall end, at least for now. It is up to the next player of this game to choose your fate, just as you chose your previous player. Enter your first name. Uh, Mr. Skids. Your email address. Meh. <laughs> well, uh, it says it on my, um, uh, uh thing there. I'm a, 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 a email address. You'll be emailed about your fate. Thank you for playing. Space. Submit. Storing out. Okay. Well, that was Moria. So, apparently I gotta wait to see my fate. Because I'm a random farmer. And, oh my god. <laughs> So, I thought it was just an actual NPC, but I was completely wrong. And instead, what happened was, when I ran into another person on the way out, um, which was <laughs> Jet Fuel Melt Steel Beam, be because, you, you know, the Steel Beam family, they're a good family. I've met a, quite a few Steel Beams out there uh, amongst the country folk. He asked me three questions, which I actually answered the same exact way as the farmer before me. And he actually did the same exact thing as me. He let me pass. Um, and he, I, my involvement with the story ended right there. So it actually just seems, it seems like the idea of this game is to kind of like experiment to see what people would answer. And you're given free roam to the answer whatever it is that your heart's desires. And most people, it's, I don't know. I haven't checked the facts, but it seems like a lot of people will answer the same thing as the, the person before them answered. So it just goes down the line over and over again. And people just keep doing the same thing and letting the next person pass. And it just keeps going and going and going. And it's pretty neat. It, um, which is, I like the idea. This this is very clever. I like this. This is almost like an ex, uh, experiment. 
a social experiment. It's just a, it's just an experiment, bro. No, anyway, yes, that's the ending to the game right there through an email. Very clever. I liked it. It was very fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed my playthrough of Moria, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. Bye 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 b